Has the carnivore diet killed your social life? Do you struggle going out to eat or knowing what to have when you have friends over? Here's what we do so we can eat meat and keep our friends. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel, We're the Carnivore Couple, I'm Pat. And I'm Caitlin. And we've been on the carnivore diet now for six months and we've lost over 120 pounds combined. And not only the benefits of weight loss of carnivore diet, but we've also seen less inflammation, less bloating, you know, more energy, mental clarity, all the great things that come along with carnivore diet. But one of the biggest challenges has been learning how to navigate social situations yeah. because it can be really tricky when everybody else around you is eating normal food and you're just <laughs> eating meat. And so today we're going to talk about how we handle those social situations. We're going to talk about going out to eat, what to do when you go over to a friend's house, or how you can even have people over to your house. Because at the end of the day, yeah. we want the focus to be on our friends and our family, not on what we are eating or not eating. All right, y'all. So first let's talk about going out to eat. Going out to eat can be tricky, especially for me, because you are surrounded by all these temptations and reminders <clears throat> of your old lifestyle because we used to go out to eat all the time yeah we go out a few times a month mm -hmm. and before we would go out and just look at the menu and order whatever we wanted but now we have to be really particular about what we eat yeah and so when we first started the carnivore diet we did not go out to eat for about the first three months because yeah. i just didn't feel like my mindset was in a very good place to be able to go to a place like that and stick to the carnivore diet i'm getting a little bit better now and sometimes it's really helpful to have an idea in your head what you're going to order ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So when things like the social pressure of being in that environment happen, you already have a game plan because there is social pressure to eat what everybody else is eating or to eat vegetables because that is what is considered normal. And so then when people see that I'm only ordering meat, it can be kind of strange to them. And so oh. lots of times when I am out with friends or family, I tend to tell them that I am meat-based keto because lots of people already know what keto is. And if I say, oh yeah, I'm carnivore, then I feel like I'm having to field lots of questions and kind of explain what my diet is and why it's healthy or why it's not. Yeah, and it's weird how the social stigma of eating only meat, mm -hmm. you know, people think, oh, you're gonna have a heart attack or all these other health problems mm -hmm. when, you know, I used to weigh 301 pounds and then people didn't care if I just ate whatever I wanted to, like pizza or sugar mm -hmm. or carbs or whatever. Yeah, so it's crazy. It's kind of weird how now we've, you know, I've lost like almost 80 pounds and, and people are like, why are you only eat meat? It's weird, you know? So it's kind of strange, the, the society we live in, so. <laughs> For sure. So you just gotta go in with that strong mindset, maybe even look at the restaurant that you're going to and make sure you know what you're gonna order ahead of time because you are gonna be surrounded by temptations. But we have found a few restaurants that we like to go to because they are yep. easier to order on kind of a carnivore diet. So first, the obvious choices are places like steakhouses, uh, we really enjoy Texas Roadhouse. We even enjoyed that before we were carnivore. Mm -hmm. um, just be careful of those rolls. They're really yeah. <laughs> delicious and very tempting. So Ask just, the waiter to yeah, leave them there. <laughs> just, just, just tell them to even put them on your table. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty obvious. The other obvious things are places like Danny's where you can get good breakfast, like mm -hmm. eggs and sausage and bacon, and that's it. Um, also, burger places like McDonald's, Burger King, you can order just patties. McDonald's, this can be kind of challenging to just get like patties. It might take you some time to really make sure they have it right. But I've found that at Burger King, it's a lot easier to go and just say, hey, I want you know a Whopper patty only, and that's mm -hmm. it. And they're like $1.75 a piece, and you can get a bunch of them for pretty cheap. So Yeah, it seemed kind of like at McDonald's, it wasn't really a menu option like on their screen for them to press. Yeah. So it was tricky figuring out how to order, but Burger King, it was super easy. All right, so a few other restaurants that we have been to. One has been Pepper Jack's Grill. Yep. This was really awesome because they have a protein bowl for $8, and you got to pick all the different meats that you want they even have shrimp steak chicken mm -hmm. pork and they just put it on the grill for you and grill it up you could also if you're kind of keto for you could do sub in a tub that's at subway or jersey mike's also unwitches these are at jimmy john's this is again more keto friendly my mom who's keto she'll bring her own bag of wisps <laughs> into jimmy john's and order the unwitch so she's not tempted by the crunchy chips and then you could also go to a mexican place order steak fajitas with the peppers and onions if you're keto ketovore, you know, ask them to leave that out if you are full carnivore. Then we recently discovered Kona Ice. 
Mm-hmm. And um, this was at like a community festival. Kona Ice is like a they're like snow cones, like a, like a like a food truck with snow cones. Uh huh. Yeah. And so we still got to enjoy the Kona Ice food truck because they had a sugar free option that was mm-hmm. actually sweetened with stevia. And then a new place is called Rhodesia Grill. We have two friends who are just so sweet. We don't tell very many people in real life about <laughs> our carnivore journey, but this yeah. these pair of friends we shared with that, and so they wanted to do a double date with us, and they found this place called Rhodesia Grill and basically they have like 10 to 15 different kinds of meat and they will grill them up in front of you kind of like a all you can eat buffet. Yeah, it's like all you can eat meat, which is perfect for carnivores. It's like this sounds amazing. I did research it is a chain restaurant. I don't know if it's near you and it is quite pricey. I think it's about $30 a person. So mm-hmm. those are some restaurants and some ideas. Now let's talk about what to do when you're invited over to somebody else's house and you don't get to control what you order. Well, the first obvious thing is just to tell them you're, that you're meat-based, that you're keto or whatever, low carb. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Vegan, meat-based keto, yeah, meat-based really keto, helps whatever. Their- yeah, that helps kind of not be so weird, <laughs> you know, to other <laughs> people. Uh, I mean, you know, people who are vegan or vegetarian do that all the time, and yeah. people accommodate that. So, um, I feel like if you tell people you only eat meat, they'll probably accommodate and hopefully have only meat there for you. Yeah, but meat can be kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. So when you are talking with the person who's hosting wherever you're going, maybe even offer to bring the main dish of meat so that it's a little bit less expensive for them as the host. Or you could bring a side dish. Yeah, and so always when you're bringing a side dish, make sure to just bring something that you can eat. So a few different options that I have brought are deviled eggs. These go over Mm -hmm. really well. Barbecue meatballs, barbecue smokies, and then sometimes for like a a ladies Bible study group, I'll do like an egg casserole or egg cups, and those go over really well too. Also remember that you can always eat before you go, Mm -hmm. so you're not really hungry when you get there. You're not tempted by all that bad food. All right, y'all, so let's talk about hosting meals. So we basically have two go-to meals that are quick and easy. We make any time we ever have anyone over to our house because we can't afford to feed everybody steak. <laughs> yep, and the first one is hamburgers and hot dogs. Super easy, super quick, throw them on the grill, uh-huh. and it's delicious. Everybody loves hamburgers and hot dogs. Everybody, if people come over, they can bring chips, they can bring whatever, yeah. and it's no big deal. You don't seem like a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. But we've been eating only meat for so long that last time we had people over, we yeah. forgot to buy buns because we forgot that normal people actually have buns with their hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah, so, so I had to go get some the morning of. So if you yeah. do that, you may want to have buns for your guests. So remember yeah. that part. <laughs> the second meal that we make is called Chicken Cordon Bleu. It sounds a lot fancier than it is, but it's delicious. So you take a chicken breast and then you layer it with a piece of ham, mm-hmm. a piece of cheese, and then some pork panko mixed with butter. And then you sprinkle that on top, put it in the oven for 350 degrees, and that is delicious. Really and good. so you can make that ahead of time. So it's super easy to throw in the mm-hmm. oven. And then when I make that for guests, I'll also make like a Caesar salad so yep. that they kind of have a complete meal. <laughs> For them <laughs> and so you'll like eat like two or three oh yeah i'll eat like rest. two or three of them because and i don't eat a salad so yeah so those are our go-to meals when we are hosting so it'd be really tricky trying to navigate social situations when all you eat is meat but we hope these tips help you out in the future yeah and for me i do give myself a little bit of grace when i'm in a social situation i will tend to go more at ketovore or even to keto when i'm in a social situation so i can have you know some chicken with a salad or some steak with some veggies because for me i've noticed that that doesn't mess my system up as much i want to be able to enjoy my time with my friends and not be focusing on my diet or fielding so many questions so i do loosen up the reins a little bit there but i know that that's not for everybody but you Mm -hmm. have to find something that is sustainable for you so that you don't feel like your diet is just taking over your life because if that happens then you're probably going to quit Unless you're Pat. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed. We appreciate everyone watching and supporting us. Stay strong. We'll see you next time.